Hi everyone, we've just updated our Nomad Beginners course with a new entire module. Uh, if you've already got the course, you've already got it, you can go and check at the end of this video. But I wanted to share with everybody else who doesn't have that course or doesn't have access to that, the, the, the process that we use to do the joints for a little vinyl toy. Oh, it's not vinyl, obviously, we 3D printed it, but it's the type of joint you'd use if you wanted to make your own vinyl toy. So we did this little teddy bear as an example, and here's a quick example of how we did it in Nomad, and then this is the output that we printed and then snapped together, and I'll show you how the joints are made. So even if you don't have the course, you get a good idea of how you can do something like this. So let's dive right in and have a look at this little fun bear. So in this video, as I've explained, I'm just going to show you how we did the joints for this little teddy bear. Um, and basically, it's all done in Nomad, and it's mostly done with booleaning out shapes, one shape out of another. So I'll quickly run you through the process, and then I'll show you the final output, which is the important part. Now, the big thing with this project is that we started with the, the way we do all of our little characters. So basically start with primitives. So we start with spheres. Um, and mush them around or, or cubes if needed, whatever shape is closest to the shape that you want for your character. And then from there, we just refine it out. That's pretty much how we do all of the character work that, that I've trained on this channel. So if you've got your shape, you then shape it into, into you know, the, the overall proportions. Scale it correctly, obviously, is, is a, a good thing that, that, that really helps you if you're gonna 3D print it at some point. And then basically then add things like ears and hands and fingers if you need to. Now in this one, we just did a gripping hand. So we didn't need to go for a full set of fingers, which is, is quite useful for, for the modeling. And then what we did was we just refined each part. Now, once that was done, and it's a very, very simple model for beginners, uh, it literally is just a few simple primitive shapes. From there, I took it three different ways. So one, I painted it in right here in Nomad. Two, I took it and I did a UV map on it very quickly, single click, and I took it to Procreate, which then allowed me to take it out to AR, which is built into Procreate, so you can get a look at your little model on the desktop. And then thirdly, I did the prep for 3D print, and that's where it gets a bit more complex. So we broke that down into a few sections. So one is scaling, which I've already mentioned, the all important how to scale something in Norman. Two, we then talked about planes. So if you've got a model and it's got a head and a body, then it has to have flat planes to be able to twist. So we, we explain all of that in, in this course. Um, and then from planes, we move on to the joints. And that's the really important part, which is all about how we make a joint that's fit for purpose because it needs to go in and be able to get in. It needs to be able to rotate and it needs to be permanent. So you have to factor in all of those things. So we, we, we basically worked out a system for that and you can see that on the screen there, the kind of system that we use. And that really is it. Once you've done all that, it's just a case of slicing it up and then from there, putting supports on it and then 3D printing it. So let's have a look at the output print and I'll show you how it all snaps together if it's all worked correctly. So I've got loads of printed parts now and I'm, I'm just trying all of the, the, the fitments. Um, obviously, this is the, the body that shows what it's like internally. So, it, you know, you can see the recess, you can see how the, uh, how, how the, the peg fits in and how, the, um, how it snaps into place. So, it, you know, it goes inside like that, it pinches together at the top and then opens up once it's in like so. Hopefully you can see that. And then with the arm, it's the same. So you literally, let me get rid of that bit of fluff there. Um, again, remember this is just to show, this isn't actually anything. So it goes in there, down into the countersink, pinches together, and then fits into that socket. And then it has the rotation there. So basically what you do is you just take a body like so, um, just take a head, it goes into the countersink, and then just let it just go a little bit deeper. It's quite, quite tight. You can see it there pinching together. And once it's got into that bit, you can just force it in. Just a little bit of pressure. And it pops in. 
So there you go. So that has opened up now inside. So that's now a permanent fitment that that doesn't come out. You know, you can't pull it out without the the next time that comes out is when it snaps off. Um, so obviously you can't do that or you shouldn't do that. Try an arm. So we'll make sure that it fits into the hole and then in, you should hear the click there. So that's how the fitments work um, and it gives you the articulation. So they, they should be a permanent fixture now that, you know, that there shouldn't be, um, you know, the, sh the, the only way that should come out theoretically now is if it breaks. Um, and presuming that you've cured it and everything is, is, is solid, then that, 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 that's it, you know, you're ready to go. Now you could do your painting first, obviously, but um, that, that's exactly how it, the, these fitments work. Let's just try the other arm. So we've got a full assembly. So just make sure it's in. One side is in and then just pop it in and you hear the snap and that's it. It's uh, it's in place and it's permanent. So, and that's it. That's how you get the, you know, those fitments to work. You know, it's great to see them like this because that shows exactly what we're aiming for with that little recessed area and the countersink at the top. Um, and, that, and that is exactly how it works. So from Nomad Sculpt via um, Chitu box for slicing and then out to a 3D printer. I hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are please give us a thumbs up it does help us to get in front of other people and obviously the algorithm loves it when you do that so a thumbs up would be appreciated and if you like it enough to give us a thumbs up then please subscribe to the channel it does help us to keep going and keep pushing the numbers up and up and up which makes us more and more successful so Thank you so much for your support and hopefully if you've already got our Nomad Beginners course then you've already got access to everything I've showed you in this video and it's another two and a half hours additionally added to our, our basic course. So if you're a Nomad lover and it's just something that you're, you know, you're really into then I'm sure you're going to love the, the uh, how to make a vinyl toy course.